Hey guys, um, my name's Stephanie. I am not great with this technology, um, social media, video type stuff, but I am a groomer. I've been a groomer for um, about seven years now. And uh, one of my days off, I was scrolling through Facebook and came across a page called Star Grooming Supply. Uh, Star has two R's, S-T-A-R-R, -R, Grooming Supply. They were one, running a contest right after Christmas. Um, me and another girl, Heidi, were the only two groomers that entered the contest. Um, and they sent me a bunch of cool stuff. Uh, they are... Um, Willie and Sharon are the ones that I've interacted with, um, come from a sharpening background, grooming background, um, have a lot of neat products, a lot of products that groomers have helped, uh, develop. So they sent me a bunch of goodies and I decided to do an unboxing, uh, play with some stuff, see how it feels, give an honest review and feedback. Um, I will say I don't know if everything that I received is available, um, but I will reach out to them, find out what is available and try to do some videos specifically on those products and give you some feedback so that if it's something you might be interested in, um, I can facilitate helping you uh, get that. But I have a giant box here and again, I'm not great at videoing. You can see my, this is my cat Dolce in the background. I guess it's not a... Uh, video if there's not an animal um but i got a giant package phone's about to die I worked all day listened to some true crime to get me through the grooming day but um let's open it up and see what we got if i can find my scissors i got my wine i found that here's the scissors okay try and take some pictures as well because I believe there's a decent amount of stuff in here and that might take me a little while to go through. So if you're not into that or if I record all this and figure I can't upload it because I don't know what I'm doing, at least you'll have some pictures. All right, this is just a filler bag. All right, bag from day number six. I won, so there was 12 days of Christmas. They did, for 12 days, they put a little bag together. I think I won seven of them maybe, and Heidi won five. I could be wrong, um, but I won a lot of stuff. We both... We want a lot of really cool stuff. So it looks like there's a bunch of scissors in this package. So I have a scissor case. And this is a pair of ginormous straights. Nice little offset handle, jewel tone in the middle. And I know Willie said he uh, tightened these up a little bit to make sure that they didn't get shaken around and damaged in, in shipping, but um, they seem like they're going to ride nice and smooth once I get them all adjusted. You can see on the inside there they say star grooming supply. Maybe you can see, maybe you can't. I'm clearly not a professional, but it says it, trust me. So those are nice for sure. Nice heavy weight. I like big shears and I cannot lie. Um, I love them. I, I have little hands too, which is really weird, but I love large shears. I just think that I'll use a large shear on a toy poodle. I'm just, that's what I'm used to. You like what you like. Okay. And this looks like another ginormous um, pair of curves. Pull those out. And these have a green um, 
jewel in them. You can see that there. Curves. Those are nice and smooth too, for sure. I'll probably have to put inserts in here. Like I said, I do have um, small fingers uh, and hands, but you know, nowadays we're doing all those giant doodles and poodles and whatnot. These really help cut down on time. And there is one more. Making sure I'm not throwing anything out. There's one more case in here. Let's open that up. These are nice quality cases too. They actually have some, some actual padding to them. Um, some of the cases you get, they don't seem like they would actually protect your shears. These actually seem to have some pretty nice padding. So that's nice. And this is a uh, four shears so we have before i show you them we have a set of curves a set of chunkers thinners and straights so let's just start left to right these are a little bit on a little bit smaller than the last curves i i showed you again i don't know sizes i don't have a um a ruler or anything with me but i would assume these are probably like an eight inch whereas the last pair of straights and and curves were probably um nine and nine or ten um but these are real nice and smooth and these are all um these all say star so far say star grooming supply again like i said i'll find out what is available and i'll try and do some um videos specifically or or if these videos don't work out um at least leave a review somewhere so that you guys can see what I like, what I don't like, um, and, and go from there. So these are nice flippable, nice, um, pink gemstone tension knob chunkers, nice size, super smooth. Those are nice for sure. And also, as you can tell, I'm not a professional at this because every time I look up, I'm looking at myself in the camera, not at the actual, um, not at you, the lens at all. So, uh, similar style, flippable thinners tension knob jewel tone pink tension knob again and these are awesome these feel awesome for sure ride nice and smooth i'm definitely going to probably be trying trying these thinners and chunkers um you can never have too many of those and then these are pink jewel tone flippable straights um, again, these seem a little bit, um, a little bit smaller than the last pair, but I would assume eight, eight and a half. Whereas, like I said, the other ones might've been nine, nine and a half, ten. So, and these are all, like I said, star grooming supply. And here, if you can see, um, you probably can't tell, but there's actually some, some smush in there uh, is a technical term I would use some padding on there to really feel like it the cases protect um, will protect your shears so that is those ones let's pull another bag and I really appreciate um, like I said me and another girl Heidi were the only two that entered the contest um, it's not lost on me that there's probably a good deal and not probably there is a good deal of value in what I received and they could have easily said, you know, we're, we're just going to send you a little bit, you know, nobody needs all this. Um, but they, they held, 
true. It was contest they ran. So I'm trying to at least give back and help out a little bit and get their name out there. I've never heard of them. Um, but some of the best companies started small and some of the best companies stay small. So um, I'd love to help give a review and get their name out. Um, an, an honest review. So that's important to me. So this is day I didn't even see. And I, of course, cut, um, I believe day five is, oh, well, you can't read, day five. Um, looks like there's a lot of clothes in this one. I am way too close to the camera. I don't have a lot of space behind me with the couch to hold things up. Um, but I do know that they were saying that they're not doing, um, smocks and things like that right now. They're trying to source a vendor in the United States for those. So I'm just going to kind of tell you what's in here and not really, uh, you know, mess with showing you everything because I don't think it's something that you guys can get right now, but I will keep you updated. Um, if they tell me that they, um, start producing, uh, smocks and pants and stuff like that again. So this is just a, like I said, you can't see it. It's like a long sleeve, um, lab coat, real pretty blue color. And this is just a V-neck, um, teal V-neck, um, shirt another v-neck in a kind of a royal blue and the stretch I you know I hate to, to show you how great I think some of these things are because um, you can't get them but if he hopefully sources a vendor that can replicate there is a lot of nice stretch in here if you can see um, you can really feel it in the fabric the fabric feels lightweight but it feels thick at the same time um so thick but airy maybe i would say uh and this looks like another v-neck navy navy blue blue is going to be the color of the day here is a white lab coat and that was day six and all of that um seem to be the same material so like I said as of right now from what I heard um he is not able to they lost the vendor um I believe that was sourcing those products for them so if if I hear that they are back in the clothing game I will reach out because that's one of the biggest things comfortable repels hair waterproof or dr quick dry you know that that we look for um every day so let's pull another one okay all right so this one is day one seems really heavy okay we got a lot of stuff in here. So we have one, two, three nooses, tethers, whatever you'd like to call them. A little bit of a, um, just a slip style with an O-ring. And then, um, this one has just a regular hook. Um, I can't remember what these are called, but they, hook a little different um I like these as well the two black ones have that but same um same loop closure and and little slide lock so there's three of those never have too many of those they get eaten and lost and wet and gross and who knows what all right we have a rake Again, that's Star Grooming Supply as well. So I'm going to reach out to them and, and find out what exactly is. I know some of the products are not as readily available. And I want to make sure if I really like something, the worst thing we do is say, oh, I really love this and you can't get it. So 
Um, obviously, I'm going to use all the products because I have them. But what I will review what is something that's still available. Um, okay, so Andis Blade Drive, a legit one. Hard to come by anymore. Then um, I did get a bunch of blades. So this is an Andis 10. Uh, 5FC. Another 5FC Andis. No, it's hard to see, but it's a 5. Another blade drive. And these were all different days. Um, so... The blade drive might have been in day seven and day five, and I just happened to win two of those days. Uh, ten. Mm, I do not know this brand. HQRP, a 7F. And it is 10. Shave down season is upon us. Uh, Oster Cryogenic 7F. Also, I don't know if I'm talking loudly enough for this video. I probably should have uh, figured that out before. Um, uh, for Skip Tooth, and this. Here, I feel a couple more. Another four skip and this as well. Here is um here's their information. Star grooming supply. I'm gonna take a screenshot. Wandering Willie is also um another subset uh really cool videos got some youtube videos some facebook um 5f oster and i think one more uh the brand i am not aware of yet uh hqrp 7f So, I'm pretty sure that's all the blades. Uh, I have a small package here. Okay, and these are all, which I knew that I was going to get a couple of these. I'm eager to try these out. I have yet to use one. Um, diamond Dremel bits. So they have the center where you can round off the nail and finish. Um, he gave me a couple larger ones and then same, same style, small and medium as well. So that's what was in that bag. Now I feel the plethora of combs, um, and a girl can never have too many combs. So I believe I actually won one of every style that they have. And some of the styles that they have, I had never actually seen before. So I'm really excited. So this first one is like a rat tail comb. It feels super sturdy super super sturdy a little heavier weight not super lightweight um comfortable in the hand though for sure comes to a little bit of a bevel down on the end so that is one and that was like a um pewter gold color okay purple half moon coming up at you next and I could have pre-opened all this stuff, but I really wanted, 
you guys to experience my first impressions um, instead of opening. I, I really, even though I kind of saw on Facebook what I was going to be getting because they did pull the bags um, on, on live, I just wanted you to see what my actual reaction was. So it may take a little longer. It might not be for everyone. Like I said, I'll try and take some pictures and do some actual uh, reviews. So this is the purple half moon. Again, super sturdy, heavier weight, not super heavy, but I mean, definitely some weight in your hand um, on these last two. And this, I actually got two of the pewter or rose gold, actually. I think he called it a rose gold um, half moon combs. So I'm just going to pull them both out. You can see them both here. So same as the purple. Same sturdiness, um, just a different finish on them. All right, now, okay, I got a bunch of duplicates here with just, it looks like, I'm not going to take them all out of the package. I got three of the Sam um, Rose Gold. larger um greyhound um wider tines here closer together at the end a little bit of giving them um, as i'm doing it so you can't see a little bit of giving the tines but overall seems like a super sturdy comb so i got three of those There's the other two, same color. And this one, another Greyhound comb, a little bit smaller. Just a typical, nice lightweight. Um, definitely smaller, not as heavy bodied in your hand, um, but lighter weight. Still feels sturdy. So, okay, then I got a smaller Greyhound in the rose gold. So, this is pretty much exactly like the three I got that were larger. It's just um, comparatively smaller. How you can see the difference in that tooth sizing or tine the size of the tine seems really really close so just a smaller comb same type of uh spacing then i got four and i'll show you the purple because i feel like it shows up better on the camera from what i can see four of these I've seen combs like this before, um, and I have one kind of similar that is supposed to help remove some undercoat with the teeth spacing like this, supposed to be great for D sheds. Um, this is a little different than the other ones that I've seen, and I actually have one that is similar in these teeth all the way across. I kind of like the fact that this is a combo because let's be honest, like I normally hold my comb like this. So I'm really only going to use half. Why not utilize the other half for me to be able to flip it around? I'm probably most excited to use this comb and the next one I'm about to show you. Um, but I got four of these, one purple, which I decided to pull out the purple because it, I feel like it shows best on camera. And three in the rose gold. And you can see they're the exact same comb. So that's those. And excuse me, the last comb I said I was going to show you, which 
looks like it's going to be great for top knots. And that is a pick. So I'm kind of excited to try this, get in and see what that does. Um, and I'll let you know the the base of it's real heavy. Obviously, the longer the pins, the wider part, the more give you're going to have. But I still feel like they're in there. I mean, they give. You can see it given. But, I mean, it's not bending at all. It's pretty sturdy at the base, if you can see that. So, I'm excited to give that a try. That was all of that bag. Give me one more second. Uh, we'll do this one, which says day 10 on it. Um, it feels like a lot of clothes. So I know there was some pants as well. Uh, and again, same thing with the pants as with all the, yep, this is all the pants. As with what I told you before about um, them trying to source vendors. So these are just uh, like a hunter green scrub pants. And the material on this, mm, it feels similar but a little bit different maybe than the shirts. Although it might be the same. Um, pair of gray scrubs. These have really nice stretch too. That's fantastic. Nice pockets, little clips, um, to hold all your stuff. And pair of black, same, same style, just black, really nice stretch. And again, another pair of black. So, I'm lucky I get to try them out and hopefully enjoy them. I will keep everyone updated with um, when they have um, clothing available again. Okay. Purple case, scissors, obviously. These are thinners. Offset, poodles, cute, 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 super excited. And these feel great in my hand. So, store grooming supply and the poodles are super, super cute. You see them there, the little designs they have on them. Um, excited to try these as well. Fitters and chunkers and like weird shears are always my favorite. Um, for whatever reason, I use the same straights and curves that I started with. And I think it's just cause my hands used to them. I try and bring, I, Lord knows I have tons of curves and tons of straights and I try and branch out and we just like what we like. And the curves and straights that I use are probably the cheapest pair of shears I own. But that's where a pair of good thinners and chunkers and curve thinners and curve chunkers and piano thinners and erasers come in. So I get most excited about those types of things to really help with um, taking your finish up a notch. All right bag day I don't think it's marked um I think they just kind of lumped um like items with like items okay so we have double-sided um slicker sorry brain freeze there for a quick second um flex flex independently Great for matting, great for undercoat removal. And I think this is master grooming tools, if I'm correct. I'm pretty sure that's their logo. And 
And the weight of my heart is more combs. Um, and I think I already showed you most of these. So we have the fluffer slash D shutter. We have another half moon and a large and small, just regular Greyhound and a, another rat tail, rose gold. All right, we are coming down to the last bag here. This was day two, pulled the stuff out. All right. Offset straights, green, emerald colored tension knob. Uh, if I had to guess, eight, eight and a half. Super smooth. Nice, for sure. Star grooming supply. Then the last of it, four more shears, shear number one, offset, curves, emerald green, um, tension knob. Real nice, nice curve, not an extreme curve, but I'd say a super curve for sure compared to, I buried the other, buried the other ones, but, um, looks like a little bit of a super curve to me. Number two, slightly offset rose gold, green emerald tension knob again, straights. And again, I'd assume these are eight and a half or so again super smooth um star grooming supply labeled number three um same poodle pattern offset pink tension knob straights i guess eight and a half as well eight eight and a half seeing that poodle pattern upside down is super super cute and last but maybe not least nope not least because i got a pair of chunkers Offset handle, pink tension knob, also poodles. And I'm definitely going to need finger rings for these, but they sound and feel exactly how I like them to in my hand. Star grooming supply. So that is everything I got. Tons of stuff. I'm really excited to use some of this. I'm really excited to let you guys know what I think for whatever it's worth. Um, honest reviews on what I like. Shears, combs, stuff like that. It's very personal. I know people that love certain shears and I try them and I hate them. It took me five or six curved chunkers and thinners until I found a pair that I liked. So, and the ones that everyone else liked, I didn't like, and I sold them and people loved them and that's great. So, um, that's the nice thing is to, to find what works for you. Um, I just wanted to thank Willie and Sharon and star grooming supply, double R S T A R R grooming supply on Facebook. Um, as well as, um, I'm going to put this up here one more time. and wondering Willie as well.
So thanks guys. I'll keep you updated. I'll keep you updated on um, clothes coming in and um, I'll try and review, like I said, the items that are available um, so I don't make you fall in love with something that you can't have. All right. Happy grooming. Talk to you guys later.